August by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Now cometh August with her brood of joyous things in gracious mood. The smiling skies, the laughing streams, and from the sun the dancing beams of golden light that seem to play like pranksome elves along our way and leafy lanes in shimmer dressed inviting weary souls to rest and trees that spread their welcome shade over hill and dale and forest glade and silken breezes come to do the service god hath put them to and happy birds at twilight nigh to sing some dreamy lullaby or at the dawn to tell us of another coming day of love ah who can fail to find thee dear most gracious daughter of the year august first end of poem this recording is in the public domain a library of days by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia i'd like to bind all pleasant days and keep them in my library that when i come on sorrow's ways i may get at them handily and as i open up some book that's eased some bit of passing pain so on their pages i may look as though i lived them over again august second end of poem this recording is in the public domain Rations by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I like the way old nature serves her rations day by day, that all of us can count upon, so promptly doth she pay. A meed of light at early dawn, and plenteous stores of air, and miles of blue sky overhead to cheer away our care she gives us soft refreshing rains to cleanse the atmosphere and breezes singing music that enchants the weary ear she feeds our souls with vistas fine and best of all she dowers each day we live in gifts of time in four and twenty hours august third end of poem this recording is in the public domain As to Nightmares by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia I had a nightmare the other night, A vision fierce and gory, But, stead of cowering with fright, I seized her mane, and, holding tight, I rode the beast from dark to light, To honour and to glory. A rather pleasant way I find To handle creatures of her kind, no matter if they come my way in dead of night or light of day august fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain brothers all by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia a pleasant word to everybody the rich the poor the real the shoddy somehow it does me good to greet whatever folks i chance to meet and tell them howdy just as though they all were people that i know and wish them well upon the way and hope they'll have a pleasant day god made them all and so you see i guess they're good enough for me august fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain. A Shortcut by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia A pleasant road to clearer skies When things go wrong Is to surmise how bright and gay T'would be if they would only run contrary-wise As they will do as sure as fate full soon if we in patience wait august sixth end of poem 
This recording is in the public domain. Worthwhile by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Winning and sharing your gain, grinning and bearing your pain, loving your friends and your foes forgiving, make any kind of a life worth living. August seventh. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Parallel by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Who lets a passing bit of woe destroy the wonder of a world replete with joy is no more wise than he who would deny the smiling glory of the summer sky because he'd got a cinder in his eye. August 8th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Odds and Ends by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. The odds and ends that make up life are mixtures strange of peace and strife in oft amazing blends. The issues? These are with the gods, but he who fears to take the odds is like to lose the ends. August 9th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Demand and Supply by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Whatever woes may chance to be, you'll get no groans or frowns from me. For groans and frowns are sorry stuff, of which already there's enough and it were foolishness to try to sell an over-large supply and turn one's hand to making things with no demand august tenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the fault by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia we blame the world for this and that in angry speech and lurid print but let me tell you plain and flat the fault is with the people in it if we who think we run the same would do our part with smiling grace we'd find the poor old world we blame a fine and dandy sort of place august eleventh end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Eternal Youth by John Kendrick Banks. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. Outside I'm seeming old. My locks are grey. The one time springy step is gone for a, And wrinkles chart my cheek and brow to show the path i've trod in joy supreme and woe but deep within down in the heart of me where none but i alone the truth can see no hint of age appears upon the scroll that holds the written record of my soul in spirit thanks to cheer as ever young my heart holds songs as sweet as ever sung and to the future still i look with zest as to the coming of some welcome guest august twelfth end of poem this recording is in the public domain fortune by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia tis said that fortune's but a fickle jade who plays with men like some flirtatious maid holds back her favours and her smile denies despite the invitation in her eyes believe it not the indictment is not true for fortune's just a woman through and through who knowing well her favours to be good insists that to be won 
they must be wooed august thirteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain locked in by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia if you must hoard your woes and fret about their vast accumulation let them in some steel vault be set with key-proof lock and then forget the combination august fourteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain mist by john kendrick banks read for librivox dot org by sonia sometimes the heavy mists arise to dim the lustre of the skies but when they pass i find the blue above me still remaineth true so is it with my faith i find the mists of doubt flit through my mind and for a moment brief obscure the beauty of belief secure but as the mists from out the sea before the golden sunlight flee so passeth doubt a spectral wraith before the sure light of my faith august fifteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Foolish Plaint by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Time is dragging? Heavens, man, let time drag as best he can. Lengthen out the minutes till each an hour seems to fill. Let each hour drag away till it seems a good full day so much to be done to win so few days to do it in raise no plaint if time shall lag let the sluggish seconds drag if they help us to put through tasks that we are here to do august sixteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Goodwill by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. For every babe that's born today, let's wish a golden sunlit way, from racking care and sorrow free through all the days that are to be, and for the souls by grief beset to ease the pressure of regret, stretch out the hand of friendliness as though we knew of their distress who keeps a stock of right goodwill on hand for all in joy or ill whate'er the drafts upon his store with every spending winneth more august seventeenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Yield Not by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Yield not yourself to grief, my friend, because some joy has reached its end. For though your sorrows deep and sore, for things now gone to come no more, tis better rather to be glad in thinking on the joy you've had nor mar with the excess of tears the pure bliss of the yesteryears august eighteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain vaulting ambition by john kendrick bangs read for librivox talk by tavarish my ambition's on a fly Gettin even higher, higher. Once I thought it would be fun being like G. Washington. Then I felt a sort of pant just to equal General Grant. Then I thought it would be fine 
coming further down the line to be great and popular like our six bestsellers are but today i tell ye flat i'm aspiring higher than that and my efforts all is given to surpass the cost of living august nineteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Sailing by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I'm sailing on, I'm sailing on, to harbors strange that wait anon. Just where they are or what their kind is somewhat misty to my mind. But I am sure, whate'er they be, they'll prove of interest to me, and I'll be glad that I have had my turn upon the sea. August 20th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Idol by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Poor man who doubts a future state And can't imagine death a gate to something better farther on, to which the soul may come anon. One might as well a candle be, to burn and sputter greasily, and in the end, for all its stress, just gutter into nothingness. August 21st End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Joy o' Living by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I've no plaint if it be cold, I've no plaint if it be warm. I'm content if I behold weather fair or raging storm. Dark or sunny matters not, all's the same indeed to me. Arctic breeze or sizzling hot long as I am alive to see. August 22nd End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Reactions of Rhyme by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I like to think my thoughts in rhyme Because I find that half the time a rhyme for sorry things that curse will set my mind on its reverse. Thus fear and drear and sneer and tear each sends my thinking off to cheer. And when there is something to annoy, the rhyme that follows on is joy. And old men trouble nine times in tens allied to bubble so that my worries rhyme with things that give my weary spirit wings and set me singing like the lark who sees the morn emerge from dark august twenty third end of poem this recording is in the public domain as to clay by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. If I'm but clay, as some do say, all were when life began, I'll still be game and mould the same according to some plan, and see if I can't by and by by some ingenious trick so fashion me that I shall be at least a first-class brick. August 24th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Deathless by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I cannot find that death upon this sphere does more than close a bit of travel here 
but rather sends the traveller on his way to higher roads to labour as he may in further pilgrimages to some goal for which while here he has prepared his soul wherefore my friends who've vanished from my sight and left me plodding still from vale to height have merely gone ahead not dead to me but closer drawn to realms of victory august twenty fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a division by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tavarish if with some king I could divide a portion of his treasure. I would not seek to share his pride, nor any of his pleasure, nor any of the gold we find in many a monarch's dower. If but for service for my kind, he'd give me half his power. August 26th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Weather Proof by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Who cares what sort the weather be, if only he the truth can see, that weather's all, or wet, or dry, if sun or cloud rule o'er the sky, each kind is good in its own way, and neither makes nor mars the day of him who in the warp and woof of his own soul is weatherproof august twenty seventh end of poem this recording is in the public domain yesterday today and tomorrow by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tavarish my yesterdays i dearly prize because they hold my memories to-day is dear unto my eyes for present opportunities to-morrow all fulfilment lies upon to-morrow's knees rich gifts of time or oh, treasures three what has been is and is to be each one is passing dear to me august twenty eighth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Moulding by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Perhaps when fate hath hacked at you and battered you about, and with such buffets whacked at you, she's nearly knocked you out, you'll find some comfort in the thought that when she seems most cruel, out of your sufferings she's wrought a mighty precious jewel. August 29th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Bee by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I do not love the buzzing bee because he keeps so busy. I grant his vast activity doth fairly make me dizzy. What I like best about him is that while his work pursuing, he seems to find such perfect bliss in doing what he is doing. He does the thing he has to do with truly joyous vigor and dances clover pastures through just like a happy jigger and that's the way i like to see a chap take up his labor and that is why i deem the bee a mighty worthy neighbor august thirtieth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Summer Passes by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Goodbye, summer's not the tune sounding in my heart today, 
for from now back unto june summer's with me here to stay every minute of its glory in my spirit stored away what i've had in things of peace deep within my soul i hold with a joy that cannot cease purer richer far than gold and the summer with its treasure is a treasure yet untold so the word is not good-bye as to seasons dead for a and no tears suffuse mine eye for a summer gone astray but with joy a gift completed in my heart i store away august thirty first end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of the cheery way a bit of verse for every day august by john kendrick bangs